They're getting away. WWVDD. What would Vin Diesel do? Hey, Fast and the Furious is completely unrealistic. It's not a documentary. I get that. <laughs> do anything for my daughter. What about a chugging contest? Bring it. No, no, we're chugging, right? <laughs> we're butt chugging. On the count of three. Oh. They got a lager or an IPA. Oh. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't matter. Butt chug. Oh, my God. Butt chug. Jesus, he's spit roasting himself. Post run. Post run. Oh. Team player, or aren't you? I just chugged a 40 with my asshole. I'm a team player. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Real Time for the Real Everyday Movie Fan. I'm Josh Williams. And I'm Ryan Murphy. And today we are giving you our real time review of Blockers. It has a little rooster on top, so I'm going to call it Cock Blockers. Let's see, see what they do there. Not the title, <laughs> but. Okay. But uh, who is all in this movie, man? Uh, John Cena, uh, Leslie Mann, Ike Barinholtz. Uh, Hannibal Buress and some teenagers. And a bunch so, of teenagers. Catherine Newton, who uh, was in uh, Three Billboards last year. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's probably the, other than that, they're not famous. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> they might be soon. So, um, go ahead, and, uh, Josh, get us started. What's your score out of 10 for this movie? I'm going to give it, I'm still going to give it a solid 7. It's, it's pretty funny. Ah, really? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I, I had fun watching it. I mean, it wasn't. There was a couple moments that were sort of cliche, reminded me a lot of American Pie, which it, I couldn't stop. It's one of your Co favorite. It's one of my all-time favorites of all time, which I had trouble. That's why I had trouble, like differentiating between the two because it reminded me a lot of it. So I kept comparing it. But besides that, one of the things I really liked is I actually liked the chemistry between the teenagers. For me, mm. I actually liked how they kind of had this natural chemistry of being together, even though they were kind of weird. But at the same time, the chemistry was there, and, it, and every time they're on screen together, I actually preferred watching them other than the adults sometimes. Mm -hmm. But uh, what's good for you? What did you think of the movie? I might give it like a 5.5 5 out of 10. I'm not going to recommend this. Now, I've Aww. been too lenient on comedies in the past. I think people know like... Baywatch. Know, like, Bay oh, I gave a thumbs up to it. I gave a recommendation to Baywatch. I even, I even lightly recommended the Emoji movie. You which did, is like and the, that was weird. That's, the, that's like the most hated movie of the past several years, and I was like, whatever, eh. It made me giggle. So, I mean, that's typically me. Like, if you know me at all, like, I'm really hard on anything that tries to be dramatic or, um, obviously, it, act, my, my, my bread and butter is action adventure movies, and I'm very hard on those because those are trying to tell a story, is trying to uh, do something memorable. And when it comes to comedy, I'm just like, eh, if it makes me giggle, if, it, if I'm there for two hours, for an hour and a half, you know, whatever. Um, and I've been really leaning on comedies in the past, but this was just... It, it's not all bad. And if you go, you're not going to have a, a terrible time. But it's not... a good movie like it's not it's it's just too dumb in certain parts it's just and it's not it's not memorable enough to really for, to, to me merit a good enough score it's very unmemorable and it's got a lot of stupid parts and for me it just didn't didn't work on every level so i mean i, I guess i can see what you're coming from but a lot of the times those dumb moments for me were overshadowed by i think it's why i like the moment because a lot of when the there were some dumb moments but when the moments were funny mm -hmm. Oh my God, were they funny? There was a lot of moments for me where I was, like, laughing so hard my stomach was hurting a little bit. There's some, there's some moments there, where, like I was a little bit, how felt a little bit of dichotomy because it was kind of, it was funny, but it was also really out of place. And I was like, this doesn't, <laughs> like, this shouldn't be happening on screen right now. You could just do this, just, just take this action. I think, I think I know one of the things you're referring to. I couldn't believe John Cena did some of the yeah. scenes, <laughs> like the badass of WWE. Um, but uh, and let, let, yeah. uh, I want to ask you about that. So John Cena's been around for a little while. I mean, he started off acting with the Marine back in the day, yeah. and he's kind of getting older now. I find it hilarious that he's now old enough to be considered a dad. You know what I mean? Still like an eighteen-year-old. Yeah, yeah, for an eighteen-year-old, I thought that like, was a little funny. How old funny. is he? Like, let's, just, let's, let's find out. Let's I wanna, look him up. But what did you? I mean, besides that, um, I liked John Cena quite a bit. I, yeah. um, for actually more so, I preferred the other guy. I thought he was a lot more funny. I can't pronounce his name. Ike his name Barinholtz. is Hunter. Yeah, yeah. Ike Barinholtz. He was. Pretty hilarious. See, you see him a lot of things. I think the most recent thing you saw him in was Suicide Squad, which sucks. John John Cena is forty. So forty. He could have an eighteen year old. Forty. Yeah. But, uh, it, but I, I really liked Ike uh, Baron Holt. Yeah, I he, was he was funny. funny. And there's a lot of funny. Like some of the positives. Right in the beginning, I was thinking I was really liking the movie because they had some good character development on the three adults, like the three adults and, and their history together. And um, 
you know, what led them to this point with their children. Mm -hmm. Which, and I, I liked I liked that. Character. Yeah, I, did. I like I like how he there was a history with him and with you know them and how and what led him to be this type of irresponsible dad and and it was sort of a more complex relationship. And there was some good stuff there, and there were some funny moments, and there were some moments that were funny but also stupid at the same time. And I laughed out loud. There was. There was one part, now, one of the great character actors of our time, Gary, um, I, I've been blanking on his last name for the past couple of days, I've been trying to think of it, Gary, what's his name? Um, he's in this movie. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, you know him as the guy from Office Space. Um, he's been in um, all sorts of movies. He's a great character actor, and it was not worth it for him to have Beyond, the, have the oh, nudity really? that he has in this movie. No. Uh, if you ever wanted to see his... Genitals. <laughs> Go see. If you ever just if you ever watching Office Space and you're like, hmm, I really want to see that guy's genitals. This is the movie for you. Uh, but for a serious actor like for who's had his history in the movie theater, uh, this was not a movie that was worth it. You know, Gary Cole. Gary Cole. Like Gary Cole, this was not worth it. Um, and uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I need you to send those TPS reports in. That'd be yeah, great. that'd be great. <laughs> like, you know, he's done a lot of serious roles too. He's, yes, he he's, has. A, he's a great character actor. Um, but the movie is not all bad. If you go, whatever, if you think I'm being a little bit strict, which is a first for comedies, it um, you know, it, y y y you won't have a terrible time. And it's, you know, it's just got some really dumb parts in it, which killed it for me. And when it was over, I was like, you know, we have John Hughes movies, we have American Pie, like we know what comedy's capable of. Even a lot of the Judd, Judd Apatow stuff that's come <clears> out in the last past few years, it's just more memorable than this. This is just sort of like, mm, that's over, and then... And I think for me, I can recommend you guys check this out only because there's been, we have been littered with some really shitty, shitty, stupid comedies that I just could not, I couldn't watch again. But this one, I don't know, it gave something a little bit more than just your run of the mill comedy that I've really appreciated. So I gave it some more leniency because it actually was trying to be not only funny, but tell a good story and have some good moments. And uh, I, I, like I said, I didn't know I said it before. It reminded me a lot of American Pie. It did that, but it turned on, turns on head a little bit when you incorporated the parents, which I also really liked. I thought it was kind of a good little change. Mm -hmm. So I can say check it out. I think you'll still have a fun time at the movies. It's not like, you know, it's not like a to me like a really memorable great comedy like Twenty One Jump Street like for modern times. But you'll still go uh, go to this have a lot more fun than you would at like Baywatch or Emoji Movie. That's for <laughs> me. That's for damn sure. You're gonna have a lot more fun watching this than anything else. Okay. All right, folks, that'll do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. What did you think of Blockers? Leave your comments in the section below. Give us your score out of 10 and your positives and negatives. Also, if you like what you watched, then hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel so you can receive more of our various content in the future. Also, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and now follow us on Stardust. The links are in the description below. And that's all we have for you today. I'm Josh Williams. And I'm Ryan Murphy. And thank you for keeping it real. With real time.